Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network. Welcome to another Turning the Page. Today we've got, from our friends at ASEAN Press, uh, Panzer Aces, uh, Armor Modeling Magazine. This is in both um, British English and American English. Uh, sorry, I just love that joke. All right, so this is number 46. Uh, it is 11 euros in Europe. Um, sure, a little bit more expensive over here if you can find it. Uh, I think it is available through some online resellers as well as potentially even your local hobby store. Mine got a little bit uh, dinged here, so just keep that in mind. But uh, I think that was my uh, overzealous uh, mail people trying to stuff it into my mailbox. Uh, so the... You can see this cover, uh, we've got the, the special modern AFVs issue. We've got uh, on the list on the front here, T-72B, T-55C1, Abrams Tusk II, M49A2C fuel tanker, M2A3 Bradley with Busk III, which is probably the main kit. All right, so like opening it up quickly on the inside, we can see this, the uh, table of contents. And again, the Abrams here is listed. The Abrams TVSK2 scaled 135th. These are all 135th, I bet. Yep, they are. Uh, M49, uh, that's the fuel tanker, the Bradley, uh, the T72, and again, the T55 with the mine roller on the front. So you can see the quality of this magazine is very high. Um, you know, the, uh, the pictures are very, very, very impressive detail-wise. This, uh, this particular um, Tusk II is uh, built by C uh, Cesar uh, Gonzalez Rubio. And uh, I can see you get a lot of detail. But, the, you know, the kit's already built, so I'm assuming this is going to be mostly about the painting uh, process. So, yes, it is. And uh, that's what you get in that article. And again, a lot of a lot of text. The the uh, translations are generally pretty good on these. Um, like this is the Greece uh, paragraph here. There are great products available, but for me, uh, bitum bitumen of asphalt oil paints are the best. Mixing these with a little bit of glossy varnish applied in several highly diluted layers, the effect is unbeatable. Um, that is the way I see it. At least perhaps the first appreciation with a application, sorry, that was my fault, with a brush will be almost invisible, do not worry, let it dry, then apply another one and another one, and finally you'll end up with the best effect uh, superimposed on top of the irregularly shaped dirt. Remember always to respect the drying up periods. So, you know, very uh, very useful information there, very well uh, laid out. The punctuation could probably be improved, but that's, again, a modeler who's not, not, a, not, a, not an actual uh, professional writer. Um, so again, here's the fuel truck, and again, we get a lot of the weathering and final uh, detailing and so forth, and the M2 Abrams, kind of uh, more of the detailing of the inside of the vehicle, because this one had a full interior, it's coming out without a full interior as well, um, and uh, so forth and so on. So, you know, lots of great photos, you can see, you know, it is basically a project a magazine where these are all in detail projects. It's kind of like a little mini soft cover book, really. There's an editorial here at the end um, talking about large conflicts and other things. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. It's just a quick little page turning preview of this uh, months or I don't know if this comes out monthly or uh, to every two months or what the what the release cycle is like. But uh, but check it out if you can find it. Panzer races. I'm sure if you're in Europe, it'll be pretty easy to find. Um, but over here, you might have to dig a little further, but uh, I'm sure if uh, somebody in the comments section can maybe let us know where they buy their local or, or uh, online issues from. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you next time.